Hello. In this lesson, we're going to look at the beginning of your IELTS speaking test. This is when you walk into the IELTS speaking examination room and you greet the examiner for the first time. This is before part one begins. You will need to greet the examiner and do an identification check. We often call this part zero. There are four questions to part zero and I'm going to give you the questions and give you some useful tips so that you can be confident in your answers and give a good first impression to the examiner. So let's start with the first question. In the first question, the examiner will introduce him or herself and the examiner will give their name. So the examiner is going to say, good afternoon, my name's Elizabeth Ferguson, what's your full name? Or maybe they might say, could you tell me your full name, please? And you need to answer, good afternoon, Elizabeth. You can give the examiner's name or not, it's your choice. And then you can say, my name's Bui Ming Chang. Now, it's a simple question and a simple answer, but I still have some tips. So, the first tip. If you're going to use the name of the examiner and say, good afternoon, Elizabeth, please don't give a title. This is incorrect in English. We don't use titles with first names. So, if you're going to use the name of the examiner, only say, Good afternoon, Elizabeth. But if you don't feel comfortable using the name of the examiner, it's fine, it's not a problem. You can just say good afternoon. Now, when you give your name, there are two tips I want you to remember. The first tip is when you say, my name's Bui Ming Chang, please don't say, my name is Bui Ming Chang. I want you to use the contraction, my names. Now, the reason this is important is because this is part of pronunciation. When you contract a word from is to my names, then this is higher level pronunciation. So remember that in the rest of your exam and try to use it as much as you can. And the other tip is when you give your name, please don't speak quickly. Don't say Bui Ming Chang. I want you to say the name clearly because sometimes it's difficult for the examiner to hear foreign names. So you need to say, my name's Bui Ming Chang. And of course, the last point is smile. Don't forget to smile. This is your chance to greet the examiner and be friendly and show confidence. So smile, look at the examiner in the eyes and relax. The second question is very easy. The examiner will ask you, what can I call you? And there are three ways that you could reply. You could say, you can call me Ming. Or you could say, just call me Ming. Or, please, call me Ming. So those are three possible answers that you can give. Now for some tips. My first tip is, please do not explain why people call you this. This is not really part of the test. This is only the greeting. So, you're going to give the examiner simple, clear answers. You don't need to add more information. And I know some of you have English names. And of course, you can give the examiner your English name. You can say, you can call me by my English name, Mary. Now, this is fine, but please remember do not make a mistake with that sentence. You still need to say, you can call me. You need this preposition, 
by. You can call me by my English name, Mary. And if you don't have an English name, please don't worry, it doesn't matter. So let's have a look at the third question. The third question. The examiner will ask you, where are you from? Or the examiner might say, could you tell me where you come from? Now, let me give you some possible answers. You could say, I'm from Hanoi. I'm from. You could say, I come from Hong Kong. I come from. You could also add more information if you want. Not too much, just a little bit more if you want. You could say, I'm from Calcutta, which is in the east of India. Now, it is good to add a little bit more information. It's friendly, but also it shows the examiner good grammar. Which is in the east? This is a clause, which means it is high band score grammar. So you're already showing the examiner that you have good English. Now let's have a look at some tips. Please don't expand any further. You can give the location and stop. Don't say any more. Again, these are simple questions, simple answers. Also, don't ask the examiner any questions. So for example, don't say, I come from Hanoi. Have you been there? Don't give the examiner recommendations. Don't say, I come from Hanoi. I think you really should go there. So please don't do that. Just keep it simple, short and accurate. And the last tip for you. This is with the pronunciation for the names of the cities where you come from. Please try to use the English pronunciation. So, for example, Hanoi. Please don't say Hanoi. Please say Hanoi. Or, for example, Calcutta. Please don't say Kolkata. Please say Calcutta. The reason that we do this is because, again, you're showing the examiner that the English pronunciation is natural for you. Right, so let's move on to the last question, question number four. And the final question, question four. The examiner will ask you, could I see your identification, please? Or the examiner might say, can you show me your identification, please? Now, for your answer, of course, you need to give the examiner your identification. And you can also say, here you are, or sure, here you are, or of course, here it is. So, you can choose any of those answers. Now, for some tips. Identification is often called ID. So if the examiner asks you for your ID, it's the same. It means identification. Keep your answer short. You can see here, it's just a very short answer, just a few words. Don't make it any longer. And the last tip. It is possible for you to actually say nothing and give the examiner the identification. But I think it's nice just to say something. These are all very polite and perfectly normal to say in that situation. So those are the four questions for part zero, for greeting the examiner and doing the identification check. Please watch the video again practice answering the questions correctly and remember smile relax be confident and start your test in the right way well that's all i'll see you in my next lesson